Hi, Jack. Hi, buddy. Are you keeping the couch warm? It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. Someone has to keep that couch warm. Yeah. You've got some dandruff. i got to brush your fur. I'm Janet Decay, the mummy. And I'm Grimgory, the monkey. And together we host The, the Mummy and, and the, the Monkey's, monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout! Friday nights on Facebook Live. Well, that was interesting. Whoa. Wow. Oh my God. Hey guys, Janet here. I've got some more sales I want to share with you. I'm going through some more stuff listing and cleaning and, and all that. And then on top of that, we are also working on things for our alter egos, our characters, Janet Decay and Grim Gory, the mummy and the monkey. We have a special Valentine's Day episode coming up for our Facebook page with a never before seen monster movie. Ooh, a monster movie on Valentine's Day. How romantical. <laughs> well, check out these videos or check out this video <laughs> that you're about to watch, hopefully, um, where you can see what I sell on eBay and uh, some of the eBay stuff that we do behind the scenes. Hey guys, wanted to share some more, some more items that sold. Um, I'm using a different camera right now, my GoPro. I can't find the um, charger for it at the moment. I'm sure it'll turn up, but I'm borrowing uh, the other uh, camcorder we have. Um, this is um, a wooden Kokeshi doll. It's a Japanese wooden doll that's handmade, hand-painted. And it has a little um, sticker there. At one point it was, looks like maybe 550 yen. has the yen uh, symbol. And then it has in kanji someone's uh, signature. So it's an artist signed doll. I paid a, maybe a quarter for this at the uh, flea market. And it sold for $16.80. These are Hush Puppies shoes. I don't remember if I got these out of a Goodwill bin or if I picked them up at a Goodwill on sale. Sometimes I can find stuff um, for a dollar there or a couple bucks. These are Hush Puppies uh, suede shoes. They're ladies platform shoes. Those sold for $11.40. And they're nice. They're real clean. So there's that. And this is... Beyblade. It's a Japanese Beyblade <laughs> toy. Japanese Beyblade. And this sold for $14.88 with shipping included because it is lightweight. And I was trying to price it competitively. I did pay $0.50 cents for this at our liquidation source. This is a little Barbie doll gold belt, and this goes to the 1960s uh, silken flame dress. It's like a Barbie formal dress that would have a little gold belt, and oftentimes these little pieces get lost and collectors look for them. So this little tiny piece sold for $12 with shipping included. That was part of my big, big Barbie haul from a couple videos back. Maybe two videos back, I don't remember. This is um, a Skipper doll clothing set called Lola Palooza. This is from 1963. I think everything on it was complete except for the hanger. The hanger isn't the original hanger, but it's a matching pink hanger and it has matching pink shoes. There's a couple of little tops. It's like a polka dot pattern. This sold, this was a good one. This sold for 50 bucks with shipping included and shipping should only be maybe 270 maybe 325 on this um, so yeah this sold for 50 bucks with shipping here's another Barbie thing this is a 1960s Twiggy doll dress and it is marked and tagged as Twiggy Mattel in the 1960s did make a little Twiggy fashion doll and this little dress sold for $19.99 with shipping included. Again, it weighs nothing. 
Um, so yeah, all these Barbie items here were from that Barbie haul from a video I did uh, not too long ago. Another Barbie thing. This was from a Barbie haul from uh, maybe six months ago. This is a 1960s and it's marked Japan. This is uh, Solo in the Spotlight Barbie. This is her microphone stand. This little microphone stand sold for $35 plus shipping. Woohoo! All right, and this next one, I'm just going to change hands here. This is a Ski Bob set, or not set. It's a Ski Bob uh, sled. It's a toy uh, little sled thing, and it's by Aurora Toys. And it says, oh, trying to move the camera there. Okay, Aurora, Illinois, Aurora Toy Company, made in USA. This sold for $39 plus shipping. I guess Aurora, some of the toys don't go for a whole heck of a lot, but some of them are decent. And people like those uh, vintage plastic toys, especially if it says made in USA. And that was part of the uh, Barbie lot from... Uh, that one video I told you about. It was mixed in with the Barbie stuff. And then this next thing, this is uh, Michael Kors. Michael Kors size 6. It's a pinstripe suit jacket. Like a ladies suit jacket. And it's real clean. It looks real cute. Size 6. And then these are matching pants. This sold for $29.99. And I don't remember where I got this from. I don't think this was the bins. This might have been a, like a sale item I picked up at a Goodwill. Sometimes I could find some nice clothes at the Goodwills for not a lot of money. But yeah, that sold for $29.99. I think I had that listed for maybe four or five months. These shoes sold for $7.30. Wow, $7.30. I can retire now. <laughs> I know. It's not a big deal. Um, these are leather Keds um, sneakers. They're size seven and a half. They look nice and clean. I picked these up at the Goodwill outlet bins and normally I would not buy Keds at all but because these were leather I figured someone would want to buy them. And yeah they did sell. They just didn't sell for much. So moving forward I will not buy these unless if they are almost free. <laughs> Um, or brand new with tags or something like that. But hey, I sold them and they're getting the heck out of the house. So goodbye, shoes. All right, gang, I have some sales here. I have this one is going through the uh, global shipping program. These are vintage Barbie shoes from the 1960s. So here is um, a red made in Japan. They're closed toe Barbie high heels. Those sold for $10 plus shipping. This pair, these are 1960s golden brown wedge open toe little Barbie shoes. This itty bitty little pair of Barbie shoes sold for $12. The same buyer bought both pairs, so that's what? 22 bucks plus shipping. So that's sold, that's going to um, Germany through the global shipping program. And then I sold a pair of shoes here. I picked these out of a Goodwill outlet bin. They're BOC born, um, like platform, mule, slingback, leather shoes. These sold for $10.30. I might have paid a dollar for them in the weight. They really don't weigh that much. And uh, hey, it sold. It was profit. Here's some sales. Uh, this is a Halloween Friends Lil Friends of Kelly gift set. Kelly is like Barbie's baby sister or something. So this is Kelly and her friends, and they're all dressed up like cutesy poo Halloween things. And this sold for $14. $14 right there. Uh, this is an Argus Anastigmat F4 camera. It's a vintage 35 millimeter camera. I picked this up from a vintage haul. Um, we ended up buying a lot of things from a lady that does cleanouts. And this is untested. It doesn't have the flash or any of the other big accessories, but it does have that photo meter 
which I think um, someone saw that and decided they really wanted this camera. I listed it as untested for 16 bucks. And if they had other accessories, I pr probably could have gotten like 30, 40 bucks. But I'm cool with it going for 16 because I've, I'm already making profit on the vintage lots from a month or two ago. So 16 bucks there, 14 bucks there. This also sold for 14 bucks. This is an Alex and Annie bracelet. And on the inside of it, it says Cosmic Balance, Oneness, Alignment, Celestial. And it's a really cute, like, stars and moon, like a celestial bracelet thing. But it's a cute cuff bracelet that sold for 14 bucks. It's not even real silver. It's, like, silver plated or something. Um, okay, patches. Steamboat. This is a Steamboat vintage patch with the original um, tag. It's an iron-on patch, probably from the 70s or 80s. Um, this I picked up two years ago when I bought a whole box of vintage patches for two bucks. And every now and then I do sell a vintage patch for anywhere from five bucks to twenty bucks. So I've definitely made profit on the patches. And this patch sold for $12. I listed it today. It sold today. <laughs> so someone really wanted that. And then this is a VHS tape. The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It is sealed. This sold for $6. And it's going media mail. So nothing is super crazy there. But as you can see, the small stuff can add up. And it's another way to sell on eBay. Not everyone can find the Prada, the Coach, the Gucci... All that designer expensive stuff. Here's some rings that sold. These are little brass rings with some type of gemstone. I'm not sure what the stones are. But the branding is Juicy Couture. And this one is marked Juicy. Uh, this one's marked size 8. And this one has some other marking. I can't tell. But they're cute little rings. Oh, that one has a crown for Juicy. So those are Juicy Couture. And I think I picked these up at the flea market. Probably with some other costume jewelry. And these sold on Poshmark for $15 plus shipping. They're plain little, I mean, they're just little brass rings. They're not like silver. But because of the brand, Juicy Couture, they sold. Um, people are just... You know, they're very brand loyal with certain things. Sold for $24.99, I think. Um, let me double check. Yeah, $24.99 with shipping included because it's smaller, it's easy to ship. But this is a vintage wolf necklace. It has like little rhinestone eyes and it's signed um, nap Napier. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's N-A-P-I-E-R, Napier. It looks like a French word. Yeah, $24.99 shipped. I actually got this for free at the flea market. How crazy is that? Um, so we were at the Berea Indoor Flea Market uh, yesterday. And there was a guy that had a bunch of costume jewelry, like, stacked up on the tables <coughs> real high. And I was looking through it, and I picked out a handful of stuff, like a little pile. And this woman comes up to me and says... You have to stop shopping. I just bought everything. I'm like, oh, okay. So I go to the guy running the tables and I asked him, well, how much do I owe you for this? And he's like, ah, just take it. So <laughs> I got a handful of costume jewelry for free and that's really awesome. So I'm really grateful for that. And hopefully that lady that bought everything on the table got a really good deal and she can sell it for profit. But I made some money on that. Woohoo! Hey there guys, it's uh, Monday morning, February 3rd. I have just a few things to pack up. Sales have been <laughs> and um, yeah, normally over the weekend I have good sales and I've got like a bunch of stuff to pack up and today I only have like three things. So I will show you. They, this sold, the same buyer bought both of these. so. These are two things, but I'm going to package them together. It's uh, Barbie the Princess and the Pop Star. There's the blonde one. This is the brunette one. I picked these up at a Savers. They had, 
I think $4.99 each on these. And I had a 50% off coupon for anything that was $10. Like if I spent $10, they would give me half off. So I got both of them for $5 and they sold for $15 each. So this one sold for $15, that one sold for $15. And the box is a little dented, but it's discontinued. If you look, it's from uh, 2012. So hey, $30, I'm happy about that. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> well, I'm going to show some things I found. Yeah, let's do that. Stuff I'm thinking about getting. Yes. An anthropology sweater. An anthropology. Anthropology. That should be a, a Okay. I know you're trying to make a joke. No, I didn't <laughs> make a joke. Okay. I stay a lot on her makeup bag thinking yeah. of getting that. No more fish. Giorgio Armani makeup bag. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was never used. This is a cool leopard top. Trina Turk. I think that's a Saks Fifth Avenue brand. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's nice. Um, wow, what's that sweater thing there? This sweater thing here. Oh, done. Let me get. This is the pre haul. But... Yeah. These are O oh, by Oscar de la Renta sunglasses. Those were in the bin? In that they were in the bin? sunglass bin. Jeez. I have to clean them up. They might have a scratch on them, but they're kind of mm. cool. Ferragamo shoes. Mm. Those are nice. Crocs that look like they're brand new. I just have to take all the price tag stuff off of them. And then this is a, a Ralph Lauren lamb's wool jacket. And it has a neat like embroidered thing on it. It looks like a uh, Facts of Life uniform. Yeah, it does. Like a school uniform. Yeah. Uh, a coach bag. Mm. Wow. With the half off it'd be like, yeah. And then Dooney and Burke, but it's really beat up. It has a lot of staining on the lining. Mm -hmm. Like someone like had a lot of pens in their purse. Someone really, yeah. Uh, yeah, they really use this. I think I could wash it. Because with the half off, it'd be like four bucks. So I think huh. I'm going to wash that. That's shabby. Of course, I have my usual mix array of things. It's a UT. It's actually pretty good. This might be 20 bucks. Super Mario. Yeah, Super Mario. That's shirt. a cute one. Yeah, not too bad. Um, this is good. Uh, this is a local thing. Home, home, homage. 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 However homage. they say it here. But these actually are not too bad. Homage. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Wrangler shirt with a tag on it. Wrangler jeans. That's fun. Um, Has like a 70s look. I got another local thing. Um, Cleveland Galaga. Yeah, I thought it was get Galaga, of course. Galaga but, logo, but Cleveland lettering. This might yeah. be the wiener of them all. Pink Floyd. It's not a concert shirt, but it is a, a sort of an older vintage. Like, I would say it's definitely not a Target shirt. Maybe 80s or something. Oh, that would be great if it was. But yeah, has a spot on the sleeve, but... Where? Oh, that? Yeah, but, like a little bit of... Well, if that's, that's okay. okay. For, for 30 cents or 30 30 cents? cents that's I'll awesome. I know it'll be good. This is a, a Dracula, like, t-shirt costume. It's a 3X, which might be good. You know, someone's really scrambling for a costume next year. It's a fun Halloween shirt. Be, it just has an extra little bit of that white paint there. Some of that, well, a lot of that stuff you gotta wash. It'll be two bucks, so. Yeah. You know, What's that one? It's an odd brand of shirt. It's called uh, O F W G K T A. Don't ask me what it means, but it's got some WTF. weird, mm -hmm. weird looking <laughs> things going on here. Is that a band? It, I don't know. What or it just is. a weird T-shirt company. You look, it's called. I think the name of the company is called Odd Future. Oh. So it is a thing. Again, yeah, that's a weird cents, picture, but it's cool. Here. A Dairy Queen employee shirt. Usually these Dairy employee Queen. shirts are expensive. This is only gonna, again only going to be 30 cents. I wasn't going to buy any clothing, but I don't get roped in. And then uh, a Mickey. Mickey Mouse shirt. And more folks. Here you go. Perfect hat for me. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. And I got some records. Though. Some records. stuff in there. This, uh, this is the first thing I picked up. I don't know. Last one I got was something like this. Didn't work. But it has everything. It has the microphone, uh, foam thing and um cassettes cover and a cassette with it and i remember those in the toy 1990. stores 1990 yeah so for a buck fifty this is actually something that ha happens to me working in the toy biz business and have designed products i've designed this thing the you designed that thing i designed the face and the body for this toy was for that for ways. for swimways yeah back in virginia Beach. back in the day yeah, i think i have one in the packaging but i just thought that was funny now you can have it at your desk well maybe i don't know if i'll get it if, <laughs> if you loose, if you buy it i don't know if uh, what they charge me for i might i might buy it um, some CDs that aren't really just 
Not that great. They're more for me. Oh, here, a skull tie. Ooh, I like that tie. Cross, skull and crossbones tie. It, I don't, there's, oh, I they cut the generic. tag. No, it's actually tucked underneath there. It's just really Oh, I thought it, the up. tag was cut. But this could be just a generic Halloween. It's you know. cute. It's a cute Halloween it's tie. It's made nice, though. It doesn't mm -hmm. seem too cheapy. And then I did pick up some LPs. They actually have some decent LPs. Oh, I found a fanny pack for, for you. A fanny pack? Ooh. If you want. I don't know if it's any good. It's just, they, they got five bucks on it, though. It's like, Why they know. five? Because they know. They know. Does it have like a certain brand on nope. it? No, it just says made in it's China. Just, it's, a, it's a generic, but they know that they're a thing, so they're going to price them high. Um, oh, so check out some of these albums real quick. Hmm, I don't know. I'll think on that one. This one's nothing. This is for me to listen to because it's from 83, and that guy, you know he knows his stuff. He's going to be rocking, rocking the radio. <laughs> but Gulag or Orchestar, Beirut. Oh. This is actually like 20 bucks. It's all brand new. Iron and Wine, this is 20 bucks. Bruce Willis. How can I, not get the I didn't know he had his own album. Bruno. Oh yeah. Respect yourself. That's cool. Oh, he does like a lot of covers and stuff. But how can I not get that? This is the coolest thing. This might be the good. Actually, on this card, this comes up like 20 bucks and over. But it's a it's a how to drum course, like a jazz drummer course. Oh. Stanley Specter. It's a little. It just needs some cleaning, but it doesn't look scratched up. Um, there's actually some decent records in there. Some 80s stuff for me to listen to again, like Stady Ladislaw from back in the day. Gap Band. Um, what else was good? <laughs> some of the, look at it. The System Sweat. This actually is not too bad. <laughs> I like his outfit. Kind of dad. Legend. And this is a classic. You know the song. Look at all these rumors. Very 80s. Yeah, this is, this is a single. So. Good science. All right. Well, let's keep hey, looking. This is the only thing I didn't know about. And I don't want to get glitter all over my clothing. What's that? It's uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a box. I think makeup just came in this. But I didn't know if you wanted it. Oh, it's but I pretty. Know it's my clothes. I think it's yeah. I think it's a makeup brand, but oh yeah, it's gonna shed glitter everywhere. So it's up to you. I kind of looked it I'll, up. I'll think I'm on it. Figure anything out. Yeah, on. I'll think on those. They had some that came with three or four drawers, and it's just all solid like makeup. Yeah, it would be like a makeup just kit. Just a big cake of mm -hmm. makeup. Crazy. Yeah, they used they usually like sell those at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, the big makeup kits. All right, I had to share this item because this is cool. So this is a luggage tag, and if you look, it's shaped like a fish, and it has the part where you could put your contact info for your luggage, and it's new with the tag. Where'd the tag go? There it is. Fish luggage tag. The brand is Romero Brito, and this we uh, this I picked up from the uh, liquidation place that we go to. Um, I paid three dollars for this. And it did sell for $26 with free shipping. I'm going to see if I could pull up the screen real quick. There it is. So this is what it looks like. $26 with uh, shipping included because it's so little and lightweight. And I paid 3 bucks for it. I love those little flips that are easy to ship. Hey, that rhymed. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Jack and I are very happy that you are watching our video. <laughs> if you like the video, please hit the like button. And also put in the comments uh, if you think that Jack the Cat is a handsome man. I think he's a very handsome cat. What do you guys think?